This video explains how to reproduce and fix the error message attribute error module daytime has no attribute strip time in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data object, as you can see in the first line of code. So in this line of code, I'm creating a character string containing the 10th of October 2022. And I'm calling this data object x. And then I'm also printing this data object below the code box using print function. So as you can see, we have created a character string containing the numbers 2022 minus 10 minus 10. Now let's assume that we want to modify this state using the strip time function. Then we might try to import the strip time function using the second code box. So in this line of code, I'm specifying that I want to import the daytime module. However, if I then try to apply the strip time function to our data object X, as you can see in the next line of code, the error message attribute error module daytime has no attribute strip time is returned. And the reason for this is that if we want to use the strip time function in Python, then we need to import daytime from daytime. So instead of simply importing daytime, we need to specify from daytime import daytime, as you can see in the fourth code box. And then in the next line of code, I'm using basically the same syntax as in the third code box. However, this time no error message is returned. And you can also see that we have created a new data object called x new. And if we print this data object below the code box, you can see that we have converted our character string to a proper date time object. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.